It's your boy John Mike. What up with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy John Mike back again. And today I'm gonna be talking about something really, really dope. No, everything I talk about on this channel is dope. I don't talk about it unless I think it's dope. So I'm gonna talk about something really, really dope. And today we're gonna talk about how to record your uh, music apps that you've downloaded, the iOS based apps that you download onto your uh, M1, you know, Mac mini, MacBook Air or MacBook Pro. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to record those uh, apps, the sound from those apps into your DAWs like Logic and Pro Tools and whatever DAW that you choose to use, all right? So uh, you may have seen my previous video where I showed you how to load them in. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to record them in. So let's jump over here to the screen and let's show you how to do it. So our previous video, we downloaded Chord Module, which was not an, you know, an app that was searchable inside of the um, you know M1 Mac App Store. Uh, we were able to download it uh, and you can check those, you know, check that video or whatever. But um, what you're going to need to make this happen is Black Hole. This is a um, this is a inter like audio app type thing, routing thing. It routes audio from uh, one app to another. Um, and uh, it's basically like a virtual audio interface. Think of it like that. So you're going to want to download this. This is free. doesn't cost anything. You just got to put your email in. Uh, and you'll have that. Uh, they'll send you a download link. You can download it. Once you download it, it's going to show up inside of your audio devices area uh, in audio MIDI setup uh, as Black Hole 2 channel. Uh, and this now this doesn't make any sound by by default. Like it doesn't play any sound. Uh, there's a way you can do it with multi output device. I'll show that in another video, but we're going to go down to the simplest and easiest way to record uh, using this. So what I've done is is made system audio. You want to record and make system audio um, the default device for sound output. All right. Make that the default device because these apps and most of them don't unless you have one that does. But these apps really don't have any settings in there for you to route audio through you know another channel or whatever the case may be it literally um plays on whatever the system audio is whatever the system audio is that's what it's going to come in so you got to change the system audio to black hole and then by doing that uh as you can see as i play it nothing you see i got output but i got no sound coming out because it's all going through black hole so go in here to logic we're just going to use this as an example uh i've already went into my preferences and um, made Black Hole the input device, but I got Mac Mini still as my you know output device or what have you. So whatever your interface is, leave that as your uh, output device and just make Black Hole the input so you can record from it. All right, so now that I've kind of set this up and got that going, I can just go here, input one, two, make it a stereo track, create it, uh, hit record, and then hit the, I'm hitting the input monitoring button so that way I can actually mon monitor it through. And then when I pull up the app, I was trying to get that resolved. Uh, so there it is. That's how you get it in there. And then of course you just record. You know, just whatever to, to kind of get some sound down. But here you go. Just like that, you can record into whatever DAW use, using Black Hole as an audio interface. Now, the downside and the con to this is that you're not going to have any control over um, the MIDI. Uh, you're not going to have any control over the MIDI, so you're not going to be able to edit that. This is strictly uh, an audio recording. So in a sense, you're treating your iOS apps as like external sound modules that you have you know, laying around. So this is a pretty cool way to kind of do it because there are a ton of like iOS apps out there that are really, really dope that have been uh, made really, really well. They're really, really inexpensive as compared to some, uh, you know, big software libraries and stuff that you would expend, uh, you know, spend on money on or what have you uh, for your thing. So I think this opens up a whole 
new world of possibilities for us to be able to record using our favorite uh, iOS apps like module and so on and so forth. So uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys today. I'm going to do some deeper videos with this as I kind of experiment with some little things that I'm kind of thinking about and wondering if you got some questions that are related to this or that kind of, you know, this made your brain kind of think about this, feel free to ask that question down in the uh, comments and I'll be sure to try to jump in there and figure it out and see if it's possible, see if it's plausible because I don't know where this is a whole new world we're all venturing into and I'm excited about going in and doing it together and seeing how this is going to expand. So uh, you know how we do on these videos and if you don't know how we do, I'm going to tell you how we do. What you got to do is you got to go down there and hit that like button for me. Please hit the share button. Please uh, drop a comment. Just let me know, you know, what you think, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. I'm out. Holla at your boy.